So I've been doing some reading, listening, and learning the last couple of days as we've been experiencing this dramatic shift and upheaval in society relative to the Black Lives Matter movement and trying to figure out where my place is in that. And typically, I am more of a silent person, a nonviolent, passive, and a lot of times I might hear people's opinions I don't agree with, but I just kind of let it be. I'm like, well, that's their opinion. I don't share that, but um, not, uh, I don't tend to cause conflict, <laughs> I should say, with people. But I was reading an article the other day that was really good, and it was talking about the danger in that. And the danger in staying silent when somebody is um, has perspectives that are super racist, like the danger in staying silent is you're kind of letting it fester, and it's kind of growing. So by not saying something like even something as passive and simple as, hey, man, I really don't agree with that. I think that's a bad perspective. I don't think that's appropriate. Um, by not saying something, you're just letting it continue. And by saying something, you never know that person may a not be aware of um, how inappropriate their statement was or B, they may um, they may respect you and really care about you and you know, second guess, like start to think about why they have this perspective and maybe start to change it. But if it goes unchallenged, it will continue. So I'm not here preaching. I'm just thinking about um, how that was a big takeaway for me, where um, I need to not be silent and not be passive and make sure I'm standing up. And in the moments where people are behaving this way, I need to let them know that it's not okay. And um so I was thinking about how I can show up in my own way and uh, remind myself of how I can contribute to a movement and really be behind what's going on because I am. I think there's a lot of change that needs to happen and um, I think we all have a part in that. So I made this bracelet and each stone is chosen for its qualities that represent the message I want to remind myself of. And that is starting here, it, it's citrine. It takes courage and compassion, rose quartz, to speak up, Amazonite, to heal the pain and bring peace, Amazonite, sorry, Amethyst, and it starts with me. I must be the light. Labradorite. So I'm pretty inspired about this bracelet right now because I chose each stone to match each part of that mantra. And as I've been wearing it the last couple of days, it every time I look down on my wrist, there's a different stone showing and I tap into, oh, rose quartz for compassion or citrine for strength and courage because um, this is not something that will end soon. This is obviously a, a lifelong, um, gosh, a generation long um, movement that's been going on long before any of us and it will continue. And I think we all need to figure out how we're going to show up and be in support of that. So um, let me know what you're thinking about that, how you're feeling. I feel like social media can feel like a scary place right now. You know, it's a place you want to show up and connect, but maybe we're not really sure what to say or what to do. And we're all going to respond to these things differently. So send me a message. Let me know how you're doing right now. And uh, if you want to talk about how you show up as well, I'm open to that. And I will be unavailable for a few days. We're going to go to that awesome cabin in the woods that we have to kind of just get away from everything and um, I'll be back next week. So have a good weekend and send me a message if you want to reach out. Take care.